Hello and welcome to this tutorial for the board game Ticket to Ride and Ticket to Ride Europe. If you have the regular one, North America, you can also watch this video because Europe only has some extra rules that the original one doesn't have. Here's how it works. You are going to play until one player has two trains or less left. Then everyone gets one more turn and the game ends. Whoever has the most points wins the game. You get about half of your points during the game and the rest at the end when there is a bonus scoring. I'll explain, I'll explain those bonus points now because that's easy to understand. Before you start the game you will be given a few root cards. You don't have to keep them all, but you have to keep at least some of them. Here is an example of a root card. This one says you must go from here to here. If at the end of the game you managed to connect here to here, in some form or another, you get these points. If you did not manage to have a route between both places, you get this many minus points. Every root card will tell you from where to where you have to go and how many points you'll get at the end of the game, if you reach your goal. Either way, these cards are secret. Don't reveal them until the game is over. And you can get even more of these cards during the game if you want to. So again, points during the game and also these bonus points at the end of the game for your root cards. One extra thing. Check the board for who has the longest uninterrupted train line. That player gets 10 extra points. 10 points for the longest continuous train line. Now, how to play the game. What do you do when it's your turn? When it's your turn, you can do one thing. And you have three options to choose from. 1. Take two cards. You can take two that are open on the table. Or two from the deck without knowing what you get. Or a combination, one from here and one from here. Or the other way around. It's up to you. There are only a few rules for that. If you take one from here, you must immediately put a new one there from the deck before you decide what to do for your second card. Also, if you take one of these rainbow locomotive cards from here, you cannot take another one. This is the best card because it counts as every color. So only one if you take this one from here. And the last thing is, if there are three of these rainbow locomotive cards here open, you have to discard all of these cards and put out five new ones. Anyway, when it's your turn, one of the things you can do is take two cards. There is no limit on how many cards you can have in your hand. 2. The second thing you can do when it's your turn is build one route. That's what you use these cards for. Let's have a look. I want to go from here to here. So I need to be on this route. This one, this one, and this one, and so on. I can only claim one of these when it's my turn. I've got these cards, these are all this color, and this track is also this color. And it's four spaces long. One, two, three, four. That means if I want to claim this route, I have to discard four cards of this color. One, two, three, four, this color. 1, 2, 3, 4, this color. 
I put these cards on the discard pile, and then I can put my own trains on this route. I play with yellow, so all my trains are yellow. But there's more. Whenever you claim a route, you get points. The board shows you how many points you get. I just built a route of four spaces. Here it shows four trains and seven points. I immediately get seven points. And remember, as soon as one player has two or less trains left, after placing them on the board, the game is almost over. You might see these grey roots and wonder what colour they are, because there aren't any grey cards. On these roots, you can choose which colour you want it to be, just as long as it's one colour, all green or all orange, it's up to you. I'll get back to a few de details on roots later, but one important thing to know is this. As you can see, some of these roots are double. There are two of them. If you are playing Ticket to Ride with four or five players, you can use both of these tracks. But if you are playing with two or three players, you can't use the other one. As soon as one player has placed trains on them, you can't use the other one. Anyway, when it's your turn, you can either take cards or spend cards to claim a route. 3. The third and last thing you can do when it's your turn is take new route cards. You don't have to wait until you've completed the ones you already have. It's up to you when you want to do this. You always take three cards from the root deck, and you must always keep at least one of them. You can keep more, but at least one. It's possible that you see a card that shows a route that you already have. Make sure to keep it. Also, when you complete a route from one of your cards, don't say anything. Just keep them face down until the end of the game. The cards that you don't choose go on the bottom of the deck. But that's it. Those are the three things you can do when it's your turn. Either take new cards, or claim a route and place your trains on the board, or take new route cards. Well, that would be it for the regular Ticket to Ride. But in the Europe version, you can do one extra thing when it's your turn. You can place a station, one of these things. When it's your turn, instead of doing uh, one of the other things you can do, you can say you're going to place a station. You always place a station on a city, not on a route. The first station you place costs you one card. The second station costs you two cards of the same color. And when you place your third station, you have to discard three cards of the same color. For Ticket to Ride North America, this is already it. This is how you play the game. When it's over, you reveal the root cards to get extra points, and the longest train line gets 10 bonus points. If you have the most points, you are the winner. If you have Europe, there are a few more things to explain. Let's go back to the stations. What are they for? It's possible that during the game another player claims a route that you also really need. And now you can't do that anymore because it's blocked by someone else. Sometimes there's a way to go around it in another way. But sometimes you're stuck. There's no other way to reach it or there's not enough time. In that case you can use a station. As I've said, you place it on a city. When the game is over, you place the station on one of the routes next to that city. 
This means this root is now also yours. You can count that little part on the board as yours. The only thing it doesn't count for is those 10 bonus points for whoever has the longest track on the board. And for every station that you did not use, you get 4 bonus points at the end of the game. Next, you can see that some of the grey routes also show these little locomotives. That means you must pay for this space with a locomotive card, those rainbow colored ones. If you want this route, you have to partially pay for it with a locomotive card. And the last thing. When you look at the board, you can see some of the routes have a thicker black line around them. That means they are tunnels. When you want to claim this route, you can't just do it. You first have to say it. Tell everyone at the table that you want to tunnel. And also mention in which color you want to tunnel. You don't have to say where you want to tunnel, only in which color. Then, you or another player flips over three cards from the deck. For every card that has the color that you plan to tunnel in, you have to discard one extra card from your hand in that color. For example, I say I want to tunnel in green. Then I flip over three of these cards. It's a green one, a rainbow one, that also counts as green, and another green one. So, three green cards were flipped over. That means I have to pay three extra green cards on top of the ones I was already supposed to pay. But that's tunneling. There's always a risk. On the other hand, we are done. This is how you play Ticket to Ride and Ticket to Ride Europe. It's easy and fun. I hope you feel like you have a sense on how to play this game and that you'll enjoy it and give other board games a try too. Thank you for watching this video and see you for the next one.